Tell it to the damn frogs. That's what you can do. The Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 3. So Rick met up with this group, T-Dog, and we're still waiting for Rick to find his family. He done found a group of people that that's with his family his, and also his old school friend, Shane, which he hasn't seen. We'll see how that plays out. Go ahead. That's right. You heard me, bitch. You heard me, bitch. Pussy ass, none come, bitch. He ain't deaf. Well. <laughs> Ow, just like that. All right, by God, it is worth every minute of it. Just to see that prick spit his teeth out on the ground. Oh, no. He's making so much fucking noise. Oh, Jesus, I know. I know I'm being punished. I know. They're about to eat the fuck out of you. Don't you worry about me begging you ever. I'll never beg you. They coming through that fucking door. Shit. You ain't got to worry about begging nobody. Best not to dwell on it. Tomorrow will get left behind. Daryl? His brother. I'm trying. No, try harder. I think this is bad. Where do you start shaving? Last can of beans, you're gonna be loving those frog legs, lady. Yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> yeah. Don't listen to her, man. You and me will be heroes. We'll feed these folks. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Is it them? Are they back? Stolen car is my guess. Oh, cut that goddamn alarm off. Turn that damn thing off. I don't know how. The my hood, sister. Please. Would you pop the damn what? hood, okay. please? Pop the damn hood, please. Why isn't she with you? Where is she? She's okay? Yes. Fine. Everybody is. Except. It wouldn't hurt you to think things through a little more carefully next time, would it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Huh? When Rick get out of that truck, what are we going to do then? I'll get out of there anyway. New guy. You got us out. New guy. Yeah. Huh? Ah! Yeah, you see it. Yeah. 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 You looking like him like you seen the dead arise. Carl, look at your, your daddy. <laughs> She looking at him like, what? You supposed to be dead. <sighs> Motherfucking Rick, back from the dead. Fear, confusion, all those things, but disoriented comes closest. She had every reason to believe that. Don't you ever doubt it. I barely got them out. You know. I can't tell you how grateful I am to you, Shane. Oh yeah, he took care. Of, he took care of your family. Well, you Definitely know. took care of your wife. Just took care of her in the woods the, the, the yesterday. We keep our fires low, just Ember, so we can't be seen from a distance, right? I said it's cold. You talking to the Punisher? You sure, you want to have this conversation, man? You want? You want to do this? You want to do this? Mel was out of control. Something had to be done or he'd have gotten us killed. Your husband did what was necessary. Word to the wise. We're going to have our hands full when he gets back from his hunt. I stopped long enough to chain that door. Maybe half a dozen geeks can squeeze against it. At that's on us. No, that's on you. You dropped the goddamn key and he was acting like a piece of shit. Rick had to step in and calm food this motherfucker. I love you, Carl. Fought to see y'all. I thought y'all might have been dead. It was believing that y'all was alive that kept him going. And the reason why he did. Walking into our home, finding an empty house, both of you gone. I'm so sorry. I knew you were alive. And that's all that mattered. 
the anger and the and the bad times, but the mistakes. He fought zombies and put barbecue sauce all over himself to get there. Morning. 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 Vultures. Hey, go on, strip it clean. Generators need every drop of fuel they can get. Got no power without it. Sorry, Glenn. God, what? You're thinking about the man we left behind? Shane out getting business done. Rick! Carl! Carl! Rick! He already got a team. Uh, he is eating that barbecue rib meat. Man, go ahead and take care of him, man. Get him out of there. Get him in the head. Y'all jumping him. They never come this far up the mountain. Well, they're running out of food in the city, that's what. I mean, it's time to make a move. What is it? Oh, uh, it's... Jesus. Oh, who the fuck is that? <laughs> Filthy. Oh, I remember he was with Blade. Cook us up some venison. What do you think? Think we can cut around this chewed up part right here? No. Yeah, y'all going back. They were scared to say anything. About what? About Merle? There's a uh, problem in Atlanta. Rick, handle his food, Rick. With your big white t-shirt on. No easy way to say this, so I'll just say it. You got something you want to tell me? Your brother was a danger to us all. You saying you handcuffed my brother to a roof? And you left him there? Uh-uh, no, -uh, no, no. Watch out. He got, he got a blade. So golden's illegal. Hey. Go to sleep. The blade ain't out here, motherfucker. It's not Rick's fault. I had the key. Oh, shut up. I got chained the door to the roof so the geeks couldn't get at him with the padlock. It's got to count for something. So that's it, huh? You're just going to walk off? Just to hell with everybody else? Why would you risk your life? <laughs> Douchebag like Mo Dixon. Hey, choose your words more carefully. Oh, no, I did. Douchebag's what I meant. <laughs> he wasn't shit. We left him like an animal caught in a trap. That's no way for anything to die, let alone a human being. That's just great. Now you're going to risk three men, huh? Four. <laughs> My day just gets better and better, don't it? They're moving out of the cities. They come back. We need every able body we got. We need them here. We need them to protect him. You went through hell to find us. You just got here, and you're, you're going to turn around and leave? I need that bag. So he got a lot. He's got a few reasons to go back. Rumor is you have bolt cutters. Maybe. We'll bring your tools back, too. Think of the bolt cutters as an investment. <clears throat> uh, Dale, let's uh, hey, let's sweeten the deal a bit. I had to help him go get his brother. I tell you what, we get back, you can strip that van down to the bare metal. No. Last time we are on the gun range. Sure, I wind up a few loose rounds of yours. Four men, four rounds. What are the odds, huh? Everything that's happened to him so far. Nothing's killed him yet. <laughs> right. This motherfucker still walking around kicking ass. Your daddy's tough as fucking nails. You better be okay. It's my only word on the matter. I told you the geeks can't get at him. And motherfucker, I'm going back to see your brother. Fuck you talking about. Shane took him down to the quarry. There was some mighty bold talk about catching yeah. frogs. All right. What you need to do is you need to round up every bad boy you see, all right? You with me? Yeah. Hells yeah. yeah. Give me your mean face. Arr. Get that man in there and get him. Come on, little man, get him. Doing I'm beginning to question the division of labor here. The world ended. Didn't you get the memo? Merle first or guns? Merle, we ain't even having this conversation. We are. I miss my coffee maker with that gold drip filter and built-in grinder, honey. I miss my vibrator. Oh, God. Me too. <laughs> What's so funny? Just right. grabbing war stories, Ed. The fuck you want? We're trying to wash clothes. What are you doing? None of concerns you. Shane said we could catch frogs. It doesn't matter what Shane says. It matters what I say. Go on. Back to camp. 
You don't tell me what to do. You lost that privilege. Hey, Lori, could you just... I mean, what did he do wrong, though? He held you down. Let me dispel it. You stay away from me. You stay away from my son. You don't yeah. look at him. You don't talk to him. From now on, my family, my husband, is back. He's my best friend. <laughs> he gonna be a problem. I can see it in his eyes. You are the one that told me that he died. You don't like how your laundry's done? You are welcome to pitch in and do it yourself. Do the motherfucking laundry yourself, motherfucker. Sitting on your ass smoking cigarettes? Oh, she sure sound like listening to some uppity smart mouth bitch. Oh, oh shit. Please, please. Oh, well, let's go. Shane, go and take it out. And you know he fucking angry about Rick coming back. No. No. Carol, you don't have Carol. You don't tell me what? Come here! Come here! He smacked the shit out of Rick. Handle this motherfucker. Let's go. That's what he want. That's what he want. That's what he want. Take it out on him, Shane. Take it out on him. Take it out on him. I am pissed. Everything was good, and then my best friend came back to life, and now I'm on the other end of this tent. Do you hear me? I'll beat you to death, Adam. Beat you to death, motherfucker. Yeah, something wrong with him, too. I ain't beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Merle cut his fucking hand off. Well, he ain't dead. I doubt it. I doubt if he's dead. And you hunters, so your brother's probably a woodsman too? I don't know, he can walk around bleeding from a hand cut off, but... Oh, Lori and Shane got something going, or had something going on. I mean, here's the, here's the deal though, here's the, you can't just treat Shane like, yeah, it's gonna end up that way, cause Rick is back, but if I was you, and I'm gonna keep it all the way $75 with you, I'll go ahead and come clean with Rick. I'll come clean. Get it on out the way. I don't know if you know. Look at Shane in his eye. He ain't something ain't right with him. He ain't. He his screws ain't tight. He ain't got all his pieces of bread at the picnic. You know what I'm trying to say. I think it's gonna come back to bite you if Rick find out some old fucked up ass way about it. Episode three, The Walking Dead, was fantastical. This episode had me screaming at people. I hope I ain't wake nobody up. But I, I kind of got in, immersed into uh, the show. I think I'm going to go ahead and watch a few more episodes. Down in the comments, do you remember the first time you seen episode three, season one? I love it so far. I absolutely love it. And I'm starting to understand these characters. Mm. I knew Shan was going to beat that boy ass. I knew he was. I knew he was. He was angry. He needed somebody to take it out on. That was perfect for him. Until the next episode. Let's do the next episode. Don't mess with me.